Playing Wreck with randoms can be very painful. And if you don't know what goes on in the wreck when you're alone, well, let me tell you what happens. If you miss your first shot, you're done for the game. Don't see the open man for even one possession. Now it's a four on five because you're not getting the ball for the rest of the game. And if other players see you simply hooping and they're not hooping, GG. They're going to hit you with offensive three second violations, five second violations, transition fouls, player out of bounds, all that stuff. They will find a way to make your team lose. And today we will be doing what only some very brave 2K players can do. And that's walk into the wreck and play with randoms. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, AKA Double H, back at it with yet another video, man. And hey, man, if y'all want more videos, make sure to drop a like on this video right now. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I know we got a lot of people watching right now that either are new or have been watching a couple videos and they're watching another one that aren't subscribed. So hit that sub button, 1 million on the way. But today, I got y'all with some rec gameplay. Now, I was playing rec with randoms. I was just walking in by myself with no teammates. And I got some really good gameplays that I just had to post. Like, they were too good to not post on YouTube. All these games go down to the wire. I'm going to be showing a full game first, which is the best game by far. And then a couple other games that are like at the end of the fourth quarter. Then you're going to see what happens. But make sure you guys drop a like on this video if you end up enjoying the video. And without further ado, let's get into it. Here we are in the rec center. I've walked in alone. We have random teammates. We just got our fifth random teammate. This should be interesting. I need y'all to comment down below your craziest like rec experience, like the worst rec experience. Cause I already know y'all have had some bad experiences in the rec. If you have played randoms uh, with randoms in the rec. But anyways, this is our game right here. This was a great game. You guys are going to see highly recommend watching this all the way through. Um, y'all know how rec is, bro. If you miss your first shot, you might not see the ball again type stuff. Like, you know what happens in wreck with randoms if you've played it at least a couple times, right? So as you can see, this is our team right here in the black and gray jerseys. Now we have a couple green sleeves. I'm one of them. If you see somebody with a green sleeve in wreck, like the ones that we have on, it means they've scored like what, 1500 plus points in the wreck, something like that in a specific season. And this team has two green sleeves as well. So we got a couple scores on e scores in on each team, you know? It seems like a, a pretty balanced, you know, a wreck game right here. You know, I don't know anybody on my team. I won't have communication with anybody on my team you see we got a six foot three guarding me i'm on my six seven build link in the description will be uh the link to the build tutorial of that build but anyways tip off is here we already have an afk teammate like what's going on anyways we come back he makes up for it with a steal i'm going down the fast break i want to be passive right off the gate right so right here i see the center as a lane and he gets cut off and he still goes out with him for some reason anyways i get the ball back because my teammates are already starting to trust me that's what i want is trust and i'm gonna dot the corner right here he doesn't shoot though he wasn't ready for it but like i said i want to be very passive i want my teammates to gain trust me off rip i don't want to just chuck up a bunch of sauce to start, start the game and lose trust anyways we get another wide open dot right there he missed it it was a wide open shot right here i dot the corner i mean my teammates are sagging off or my opponents are sagging off my teammates they're just missed right and you see they're inbounding the ball to me as soon as i get the ball icons up right i have no energy right here pass it off i want to be passive i want in this first quarter my teammates to have full trust in me knowing that i'm willing to pass the ball i'm going to be a point guard gonna pass the ball because i am playing point guard for this team i am on six seven point guard anyways we don't get a good shot right there i get a good contest right here he's gonna go ahead late pass right here i should have got it early results in a turnover so that stop was worthless but anyways it's zero to zero three minutes bro i'm wide open first shot gotta make it and i miss you already know how it goes you already know how it goes i missed my first shot am i gonna lose trust in my teammates and the answer was actually no they still end down in the ball to me as see as soon as i get the ball i'm throwing it up towards the open man and I'm getting trust in my teammates still. Like, this guy's going to pass it over here to the wide open man. He gets a wide open shot. He actually misses that. I mean, it's 2-0. to zero. We're losing now. It's 5-0 to zero right here. They don't inbound it to me, but I still get the ball. And I'm shooting a half shot. I got to make this, right? And I make it. Oh, my God. If I missed back-to-back -back open shots, that would have been bad. One second left. We have this dude completely boxed. And we force a shot clock by this. So I'm, you know, dotting my teammates. I'm making a, a, some of my open shots, right? I'm one for two. 
Um, I'm being passive, right? I mean, I don't know what that guy is shooting. He is blind with that shot. Like, what are we doing right there? I'm not sure. But right here, I pass it back, trust, and he just gives it right back. I dot the corner right here. He he drives down, gives it out to this guy, and ends up turning it over, unfortunately. Um, I'm still passive, though. You know, I give it to this guy. He's throwing it over to the corner. I want to be very passive in this first quarter. Right here, I'm, like, wide open. Um, and then it creates this guy to be wide open because they miss me. And he actually hits the three. So we get the three right there. It's six to eight. We're down two icons up. I'm ready to pass. I'm trying to be a passive point guard. See the center for the open lane. That's an easy assist. Eight to eight, 16 seconds left. Bad foul right here. I mean, we're in the, they're in the bonus. He ends up making one of two. So we're down nine to eight. Throws it up the court. This is an easy dunk. Hey, okay. Throw it down. 10 to nine. We need to get a stop. Look at me reading the lane. I know he's trying to pass the corner and I'm there. I'm playing defense out here. Get the easy assist down court. I got the vision. 12 to nine, four seconds left. We cannot give up a bucket here. And that dude's wide open for a mid range somehow. So after the first, I passed. I overpassed, to be honest. To just try to get trust from my teammates. Because I don't have communication with me and they've never played with me. Right here, I see the this guy sagging on my teammate. Throw it to him. Even though he's missing, I'm still throwing him the ball. That's key. Even though that guy was missing, I'm still throwing him the ball. He makes up, he also gets a nice defensive right there. Uh, stop, but look at bounce pass, bounce pass, bounce pass again. What is this guy with bounce passes? Like he's gonna end up turning it over. And I'm spacing the floor, by the way. You see me in the corner. I'm not over here trying to get the ball. I'm just gonna space the floor. And then this look at this guy's flopping after he misses. Like, chill, bro. Come on. That's that's another thing I hate in rec. Like, why is bro flopping after he missed? Like, can we just can we not do that? Anyways, I'm wide open to the point where it was like hard to miss me. And I get that right there. Right here. Look at no one's playing defense. Like, I'm guarding three guys at the top. I don't know what's going on here. I mean, where's the other guy? Look at he's all the way back there. Like, what is going on? Dudes are flopping randomly. I'm getting screen set by this point guard right here who's like 6'2. Why are you sending me a screen? I have no idea. The spacing's horrible. I somehow still get a three right here to give us a four-point lead. There's a lot of stuff that randomly, I just don't know what's going on. This center's bringing up the ball. I'm like, whatever. I'm going to space the floor. He passes to me, and I end up getting a three. Like, I'm getting hella threes up. I'm spacing the floor. I don't know what some of these guys are doing. They're flopping. Look at this dude's not even guarding his man. Um, some guys are just not playing defense. Some guys are cherry-picking. I don't know what is going on. This guy's wide open for three in the corner. He ends up hitting that, and we have an eight-point lead, which is solid. This guy passes to the other green shirt and i'm like okay i got takeover it's time to take over right <laughs> when i got take over wreck i'm like oh yeah i'm scoring the ball we go over here fade in the corner green you already know what color that is and we going crazy right now we're up 11 points i got takeover i'm hoping i get the ball here because when i got takeover in the wreck like i said like i don't miss i can go up for crazy amounts of points like at a time right here another fade i don't know why that point guard was setting me screens but like whatever look at this guy's flopping to start this possession i don't know why he kept flopping ends up leaving his guy wide open for a three it's like what are we flopping about like i don't know what he was like mad about or whatever anyways i still have takeover end up missing that shot with no energy probably should have made it and i'm i even got a little frustrated to check the stats i'm still six for eight though so i'm just going fine right here bad catch animation i still grade it though like I'm shooting a lot of shots the last couple of minutes, but it's because I got takeover. You know, like I got takeover. I got to work. I passed a lot in the first. This guy misses a wide open dunk. We're going to go down. I'm being patient with it. Find the open man. Get the assist. I'm still dotting on my teammates when they're open, right? Now, I have takeover right here. I'm going to shoot a wide open shot. I end up missing it, though. That was kind of frustrating. I uh, missed that shot. Three seconds left. We're playing good defense. We're up 12. This guy's just wide up. I mean, did you see our teammate? He was just standing still in the corner. I don't know what was going on there. But, I mean, it is what it is. We are player of the half at halftime. We have 21 points, four assists, one rebound, shooting 70%. And we're doing pretty good as a team. I mean, I feel like I'm doing most of the work. But, like, look at this guard. Why is he setting me a screen? I don't know. Spin back on this dude. We get open for a three. Fade away. No energy. Green. I mean, from the logo, too. I'm in my bag right now. We're up 10 points. Things are looking good. I absolutely dot this dude in the corner. He hits that. I mean, we're up 13, right? This is looking like a blowout. But this guy's man is open again. I mean, the defense was getting questionable. This guy's going up for a heavily layup. We get the ball back. I'm just trying to space the floor. This guard just keeps setting everybody's screen. I mean, if you wanted to set people's screens, I'm not going to lie, bro. You should have made a center. Like, I don't know if anybody else gets that pet peeve when small guards are setting screens. Like, can you space the floor? I don't know. Like, Lee, he's still setting a screen up top. It's like, what is going on? Like, this spacing is crazy. I end up getting a dunk here because it's a six-point game. So I'm like, right, we just need to score, right? Right here. I mean, I'm guarding three guys on this side of the court. I don't know 
what is going on, man? I mean, maybe we have to go back to kindergarten. If y'all ever played basketball in kindergarten where they have the wristbands, the color wristbands on who you're guarding, because these dudes do not know who they're guarding. I mean, they're triple teaming random people. Dudes wide open for a dunk. And that's a four point game just like that. Right here, icons up. I'm passing to the corner. Bad spacing. That dude probably would have been wide open because one guy was guard guarding two of our guys. Right? Fast break defense. I'm trying to get back four point game right now. Look at how many people are open. I mean, I'm just running around the court trying to get to people, but there's too many people open. Now it's a one-point game. This guy's ice one in the corner, misses a wide-open shot. I mean, it was a good shot. He just earlyed it. Um, they get a wide-open fast break. I mean, this guy had enough time to walk back. Still get an open three. Thankfully, he misses. I mean, thank God. One second left. We don't really have any time, and we're going into the fourth quarter of two points. This is not good. I mean, this dude takes a bad shot right there. He's kind of just on that mode where catch and shoot. I'm shooting regardless. That man's open because I'm trying to guard all these other guys on the left side that no one's guarding. And we're losing right now, right here. I'm still passive though, right? Even though I know my teammates aren't playing defense, I'm not going to have like that ball hog mentality. Look at this. I mean, no one's getting back. What is going on? We are down one point. I'm passing the corner. That guy ends up closing out really well and he gets fouled. You know, doesn't make the layup, but he hits a free throw, goes one for two. And now it's a tie game. They're getting rebounds. I mean, we're down two points. And look at this. There's three minutes and 46 seconds left. I have 26 points. Let's keep an eye on that. Three minutes, 40 seconds, down two. I have 26 points. Remember that, okay? There's just three minutes left in the game. I have 26 points. We're down two. Now let's get into it, okay? Now, first possession, I'm like, we just need to score. So I go ahead, dunk on of like three dudes right there. And now it's a tie game. This dude, I'm trying to get a stop. Look at, I'm the only one in the paint as the point guard? Like, can I get some help down here? What is going on? Eight seconds on the shot clock. We're trying to get a stop. These dudes are jumping. They end up getting a layup. And now it's 58 to 56. I'm bringing up the ball. I'm taking it slow. And I already know, I mean, this dude's still setting me screens. What is going on? I'm just trying to get any bucket we can get. And I get another dunk. Because at this point, I'm freaking out. I'm like, how is it a tie game? We need to win this game. My teammates are selling me. This dude gets a good dunk on me. They're up two points, right? And once again, I'm taking it slow. I'm just trying to score every possession, hoping that my teammates start playing defense, right? So right here, spin back. Oh my gosh, don't do it to him like that. Who up one point. Can we get a replay? Give that guy a map or something. Where is he going? And I'm doing with this with horrible spacing on my team. I mean, this dude's setting a screen on Casper. Now, right here, number 27 on our team should be guarding the red hair. He has takeover. I don't know who he's guarding. Watch number 27 on this play. He's right there. Who is he guarding? I don't know. This is the same guy that was setting screens on offense. Probably the worst player on the court by far. Look at, look at red hair. I mean, he is just wide open the whole possession. I mean, we're just giving up threes for fun at this point. So now we're down two again, which completely negates the last three I got, right? This dude is still setting me screens. I mean, I don't know what he's doing. I somehow still am getting up threes, which is actually impressive with how bad this spacing is, right? Now, who is he taking the charge on? I don't know. Casper? I don't know. But this guy's still open again. I mean, the defense is just embarrassing at this point. What is going on? People are being left open for fun and i'm getting frustrated at this point we're down two still minute and 50 left i have 36 points i'm on fire i mean they're double teaming me they're fouling me they know i'm the only score the other look at, look at the other team they're sending guys at me they know i'm the only score but guess what that ain't gonna stop me from getting open take over the game is over we are up one point minute and 30 left i have 39 points i'm on fire but these dudes are still open. And look at this guy. He's waving to the crowd. Oh, nah. You're not going to get disrespectful. They getting disrespectful now. They're talking crazy with that animation. One point game. I'm down one. I'm trying to fight. I'm fighting. It's a 1v5 out here. Fade away three over two people. Oh, it's contested. Now, that's tough. That's my first missed shot in a minute. We get back on defense. We foul. Okay, it's whatever. He makes the first and he makes the second. We're down three points with a minute left. We need to lock in. I need to get a bucket here. I still got a takeover, right? I still got a takeover. So I'm going over to the left. They foul me. I'm like, okay, okay, we're going to the line. We're in the bonus, right? So I don't have a free throw on this build, but I'm green the first, shooting the second. Need to make this free throw to put it to a one point game. I have 40 points now. That's 14 points in the last two minutes. And I missed the free throw. They get the ball right here. This dude has takeover. They have a couple guys on their team to take over. And look at that animation. Throws him to the corner. 
Obviously, he wasn't expecting that. That animation shouldn't even exist. I mean, we'll, we'll, that passed through him miles away. Two seconds. We got a great defensive stop right here. Get the rebound. Finally, a stop. I mean, it's been a while. And look at this. This pass throws me out of bounds. Out of my control. I mean, look at the replay. Nothing I could have done about that. 68 to 70. Horrible foul. This is the same guy that was setting screens. Hasn't been guarding his guy all game. Just goes up to him, fouls him when, when the, he knows they're in the boat. So just giving them free free throws for free, right? I mean, he goes one for two. So maybe it ended up working out. So we're down three. 30 seconds. Down three. 30 seconds. We got to lock in. I mean, this dude's still setting these screens. I don't know why. He's our point guard. He should be sitting at the wing or something. Spotting up. Double team. Over two of them. Green. Come on. Tie game. Tie game. 21 seconds left. We need a stop. They throw a lot. We get the stop. We need it. Throws it down court. I'm like, okay. I'm still trusting my teammates. I got him. He gives it back to me. Six seconds. Six seconds. No energy. I see the corner. There's three guys guarding me. Three guys on my side. So I got the corner. Wide open. Green's in my boy. My boy in the corner hits a clutch shot to tie the game. 1.5 seconds left. Open in the corner. Oh my gosh, we end up winning that game. I had 43 points, a rebound, seven assists, a steal, shooting very efficient, 15 for 19. What a game. I mean, going from very passive in the first quarter to scoring, what, 16, 17 points in the last three minutes of the game. Wow, I mean, I shot 75% from three. I, that was too close for comfort. I mean, it went from a game that was supposed to be a clear blowout to now my teammates are flopping, leaving people open for fun, giving me no spacing. I mean, everything just went wrong, but we still found a way to get the victory. Now, even though that was a very good game, I got some extra rec gameplay to show y'all. And just so y'all know, not every game I play with randoms is close. I mean, look at this game. We're up by 70. We made their whole team quit. And we had a crazy game. 33 points, 14 assists, 4 rebounds. Literally won by 72 points. And they ended up rage quitting. But I'm also going to show another game in a second here. Because they're going to end up quitting here in a second. And I'm going to show you guys when I played Wreck with Solo. Me and him just walked in by ourselves. So it was me, him, and three of the randoms that we didn't know. And I'm going to show you guys the fourth quarter. Because it came down to the wire. Like, it was some wild ending. So anyways, you see those dudes quit. I mean, it's losing by 74. Personally, I'm not taking that. Whether it's AI or not. But look at this game. We're down. or We're, we're up by five points. With four minutes left in the fourth. I can see right here, this team, they get a layup, right? So now they're only down three with under four minutes to go. I get the ball, bringing it up the court. You know, we got team takeover. It looks good. This dude just sets a random illegal screen for no reason. So it's like, okay, we turn it over. You see the stats got 35 points, you know, uh, seven assists. Solo has 10 points, uh, eight assists. We're passing the ball a lot for the, the point guard and the shooting guard. But right here, we're down two points now. I give up the ball to this guy, get an easy assist, tie game, three minutes left. This dude gets a really clutch steal, but then just goes up with a heavily for no reason. So it was like, okay. I mean, it wasn't really a point of getting that stop. We're going to throw it away. Soul gives it to me. I or dump it down to the center. Easy layup. Another assist. And now we're up two points. This guy dots the corner. He throws it back over here. And this guy hits a crazy good shot on Solo right there and gives him a one-point lead. Two minutes and 20 seconds left. I'm still being passive, but when I got a shot, I'm going to take it. But right here, I'm going to dump it off to the center again. And he gets a heavily contested layup. That was kind of a... That was bailed. Okay. That was bailed. But y'all going to see some more bailed stuff in a second. So we up one point. Minute 50. I'm trying to waste a little bit of clock because... You know, our teammates are kind of wild. Like, our center was playing really bad this game, I remember. But anyways, we dump it down to the power forward. Five seconds, right? The center gets it. Four seconds. Look what this dude does. A flashy pass to the corner. Up one with a minute left with three seconds left on the shot clock. And then he gets blocked in the shot clock violation. I don't know what he was cooking with that flashy, but, um, okay. So, we, we, we up one. You know, I'm guarding the best player on their team, which was this point guard right here. He was pretty decent. He hands it off to the center, minute 20. And this is what the center was doing all game. Our center was getting destroyed in the paint. Post up, and actually, he passed out instead of going up. He probably would have made the lap. So he gets off, it's a three. Now, bring up the court right here. I tell Solo back to her. Look at that pass. Nice little shovel pass, but it gets blocked because he gets a bad dunk animation. But it's okay. We get the ball right here. You know what I'm saying? I hand it off to the center because the space is just bad. And he just goes up with it, some dumb stuff. I mean, this center was trolling, bro. Heavily layup. Someone calls a timeout. It wasn't me, but that was a good timeout. 
He gives it a solo right here. He's going to try to cook something. He actually ends up getting a nice mid-range shot right here with about six seconds left on the shot clock. And he gets a three-point lead with a minute left. So we're up three, minute left. We're playing good defense right here. Solo with a crazy good lane steal. It's looking good, right? Up three, fast break. But this steal was crazy. Very clutch steal. Rips me. I haven't really seen that animation before. And they get a wide-open dunk. And now it's a one-point game with 40 seconds left. So just like that, the, the game is, is completely changed with that one possession right there. So right here, I got my uncons up. I'm trying to be passive. Give the Solo on the back door. He misses. Thankfully, we get the rebound, but he gets blocked. And then Solo gets the rebound, right? 10 seconds on the shot clock. We're up one. 30 seconds. I get the reset. Five seconds. I'm calling for something. I'm just like, okay, I have no energy. I'm just going to go to the basket once again. Hope for a draw foul. Don't get the draw foul. It's blocked. And that's a shot clock violation. And my player's pissed. I'm tired. It's just like, what is going on? We are up one point. 12 seconds left in the game. We got to get a stop. I'm playing defense right here. He tries the wall back. Gives it to the center. And they've been backing down, bullying him the whole game. And it works again. Five seconds left. 4.6, actually. Timeout. We're down one. We need a miracle. We need a game winner. 35 points, 10 assists. I go ahead, go on the baseline. Get the ball. Go all the way to the rack for the layup for the win. I mean, it's heavily contested layup for the win. I'm like, yo, I'm going to clip that. Two seconds left. Did we just get the game winner, or are they going to get one? Regarding the inbound, no basket at all. He missed it. He double clutched and missed the layup, and we win by one point. That was a thriller. I mean, oh, my gosh. We finished with 37 points, 10 assists, uh, three steals. I mean, that game was crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Now, if you want to see how I play, not just in rec, but how I play in competitive 5v5 Pro-Am with also people I do not know, make sure to click in the middle of your screen right now. Go watch this video. Trust me, you will not regret it. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I'll see y'all in the next one.